Hello, welcome to Ponderosa North for the love of Bonanza. Today we're going to pay tribute to my countryman. Yes, that's right, the Cartwright Canuck, Lauren Green. Lauren was born Lion Chaim Green, February 12, 1915, in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. He was born to Dora and Daniel Green. They were Russian immigrants. I'm going to try and show you a picture of them on my phone here. It's COVID times, so we do our best. But you can see there's quite a resemblance to Lauren's father there. He did have a sibling, but unfortunately the uh, baby died in infancy, so that was unfortunate. So Lauren was uh, raised an only child in snowy Ottawa. He eventually made his way to Kingston, Ontario, where he went to Queen's University. Queen's. Uh, he took chemical engineering there. Queen, Qu Queen's is in Kingston, and it's about two hours west of Ottawa, so he didn't really venture far from home. Took chemical engineering there. Uh, that's where he got the radio bug. Uh, there were radio workshops there, and there was... Um, of campus news that he got involved in. But with a voice like Lauren Green's, it's a no-brainer, broadcaster, and a magnificent speaking voice. So he did graduate uh, from Queen's University. And in 1939, when uh, war broke out in Europe, uh, Canada joined uh, Great Britain in the war in 1939. So Lauren joined the Royal Canadian Air Force. He became a flying officer. After he finished his tour, he during the war, he came back to Toronto and he got a job at the CBC, Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, Radio Canada, and they wanted him to broadcast news from overseas. Uh, he was given the moniker of Voice of Canada, but he eventually got the moniker of the Voice of Doom because Lorne named names. He wanted to pay tribute to each and every man that was fallen overseas, and he listed everybody. So, well done you, Lorne. After, oh, during CBC, during, when he was working at CBC, he uh, founded the um, Academy for Radio Arts, and he also invented a stopwatch that ran backwards, so broadcasters could see how much time was left in their show, whether they should speed up or slow down. So Lauren Green invented the countdown. I just hope he patented it, that's all I can say. Did a lot of narration for the National Film Board of Canada and for early CBC television shows. He made his way to Stratford, Ontario. They have a, a Shakespeare festival there. Many actors went through Stratford, Richard, um, Christopher Plummer and William Shatner, just to name two. And that's how they made their way down to New York and Broadway. Um, and that's exactly what Lauren did. Now Canadian actors can stay here if they choose. There's plenty of opportunity here, but then no. So he had to make his way down to, to the US to make his fame and fortune, which he did. He did um, some Broadway, he did some early television in the 50s, and he did an episode of Wagon Train, and that caught the eye of David Dortort, who was developing a series called Bonanza. So indeed, in 1959, Lauren landed the, the role of his lifetime, Ben Paul Cartwright, the rancher, logger, entrepreneur, former seaman, former ship's chandler, former military man, three-time widower, Ben Cartwright, that's right each son from a different wife. Bad luck, Lauren. Ben, I should say, bad luck. <laughs> Three wives all passed. But cowboys needed to be free. They couldn't be tied down. So those men never, never, never settled down. They had to be free. So for 14 years, he played Ben Cartwright. Originally in the, in the pilot episode, A Rose for Lada, he played this wild, sort of grisly mountain man, loud, boisterous, and he eventually learned the craft um, on the skill of, of acting on television. A lot of these guys were theater guys and booming voices and they didn't realize, oh, a microphone's right there. So he, he, he figured it out and he played it for 14 years beautifully. He balanced this mother-father thing. He was disciplinarian when he had to be and he was fond and affectionate when he had to be. And in 2007, he was named the second most iconic father figure in television next to Cliff Huxtable but I take umbrage with that because Lauren was a single parent not Lauren Ben was a single parent so I don't know I think he should be number one don't you I do but he was a busy guy during those 14 years holy cow he was recording albums he had a number one sit, uh, single with Ringo he knocked the Beatles off the top of the charts well done you Lauren holy cow that's something to write home about. He did public appearances. Here's, um, he did rodeos. 
there's a, a, a rodeo program. We did magazine covers and articles and variety shows and Thanksgiving parades. He was a busy guy. <laughs> and when Bonanza ended in 1973, that never stopped him. He went on, he, he, he just kept going. He was in several other series, um, Griff, and uh, he was in the groundbreaking series Roots. He played John Reynolds, which was um, Kunta Kinte's owner, uh, which was quite a departure for Lorne. Eventually landed um, the another iconic father figure, Commander Adama on Battlestar Galactica. There he is. Here's our Lorne. Very handsome guy. So he had a very successful and long career. Uh, he, you can. Uh, this is just a short version of everything that he's that he did. Uh, you can go to Internet Movie Database and that'll list his entire resume. The only thing that's stopping it is the floor. He did hundreds of things. Um, I can only t tell you so much. I can only give you the highlights. He had three children. He had uh, Belinda and Chuck, who were twins, and Jillian. He had. Um, he had, has grandchildren, one of whom I met. There's, oh, there's, uh, I met at a Bonanza convention. She's wearing, at Stacy, she's wearing her grandfather's vest. And then I begged and pleaded, and I begged and pleaded, and she let me, <laughs> she let me try it on. She was very protective of it, which I totally, I totally don't blame her for. He, many awards, uh, he was given the Order of Canada, which is the highest civilian or honor given by the Canadian government. The equivalent in the U.S. would be the Presidential Medal of Freedom. He uh, is on two walks of fame, the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the Canadian Walk of Fame, and he was given a stamp by Canada Post. We put queens, we put the queen on our stamps and our money. They don't, they don't put celebrities on, so there's Lauren's stamp, 2007, I believe. So he had a very long, prosperous, successful career. Uh, he passed away September 11th, 1987. Uh, he died uh, from complications from ulcer surgery. He caught pneumonia and passed away. He was only 72, which is a shame. He was he, he was reunited with Michael Landon in Highway to Heaven, and he was also reunited with Pernell Roberts in a two-part uh, episode of Vegas, which was kind of interesting. But he'll always be remembered as Ben Paul Cartwright. Uh, you can go and see Ringo, uh, see him perform Ringo on YouTube. Just um, search. Lauren Green, Ringo Live. And don't forget to check out his entire resume. He's got, had an amazing career and he'll always be there for us <laughs> on video and on YouTube and on C DVDs. So we'll see you later. Thank you for dropping by. See you next time.